All right, you guys, welcome back to our day. We are already starting in chaos, right, Erin? Yes. Should we show them the chaos? Yes. And all that I just got at Walmart? Yes. Okay. All right, so it started because of this box. And there's another one. And there's another one. There's two more. There's two more? Go ahead. Okay, so these are off of Erin's apricot tree. So guess what we get to do today? We get to make apricot jelly. <laughs> so I went and got pineapples and jars and pectin and that's for our road trip and Erin brought all her jars mom's got hers cleaned and Ashley are you gonna help until your cousin gets here please <laughs> okay we gotta get these um, apricots over to grandma they're at the sink and then we'll get started all right so mom is here at the sink we've done our first batch so we're working on our second batch just want to show you the process We've got the apricots in the cold water, right, Mom? They're kind of rinsing off, and then you're pitting them, having them. Yep. And then putting them in a jar. Yep. And then Aaron over here. Well, first you have to mash them. Oh, yeah, then you mash them. In the blender. In the blender, so Mom's gonna put them in here. So we're, we're gonna put these guys in the jar. And then you do some of the pineapple bits, right, Erin? Yeah, we blended pineapple bits in there as well. So in one of these jars of the mashup, we'll put a jar of pineapple. So mom has some crushed pineapple, so you don't necessarily need to crush these ones up, but I had to get ones at the store that weren't crushed quite yet. So we'll just mix it all together. Mix that with lemon juice lemon juice and pectin and then you and then you cook it until it boils okay and then you add a ton of sugar which we're not going to talk about how much sugar a lot of sugar and then you let that get back up to the boil which is what we're doing right now we're yeah. waiting for this to reboil and then it has to cook slash boil for four minutes and then you have jam okay we will go to that point all right so i just had my first boo-boo aaron you want to show them yeah. Can you lift right it up? Can yeah, that used spoon? to be a spoon. <laughs> that was in the blender. See that? I, yeah. And now I am fishing out pieces like this of the wooden spoon out of the fruit. Because she doesn't want to give up any of the fruit. So any of them oh. that are like still in halves. I threw this fruit. I'm not throwing any of the fruit. <laughs> so I had to stand here and stir. So she has to pick out all the little bits and yeah, try and. They're big bits. Okay. I was they're just, big bits. Okay. We're, we're going to get a sliver in our throat. That's what I the spoon is gone. The spoon is gone. I'm sorry. Oh my God. You haven't seen it? No. Oh. Oh, mom needs to see the spoon. She may, assured me that it wasn't a family heirloom, though. So. Oh gosh. I know. Look at you guys. It was Dana. <laughs> I will take all the blame. I'm not, I don't have any shame, except that I feel bad that it was broken. So, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> All right, so we're at a boil. I have two minutes left on the boil. Okay. I'm getting burnt. I'm talking to the camera, Mom. <laughs> she can't tell what I'm talking to. But I guess I'm talking to you. I've got two minutes left, Mom. Are you ready over there with the jars? Yes, yeah, you're just gonna move it to the other side of the stove. And then you'll move the jars over? Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, where's my light? I lost my light. Come back to me, come back to me. All right, I'm gonna hand this off to Erin and turn it off. It's gonna get a little tricky here. Stop over. You can show. Show right here. Show the the. You guys, I wanted proof of how exhausted and sweaty and gross I am. Because look at this. Okay, I'm going to show you all. Look at all those. I don't even know how many pints we've done. These guys are all mine. These tall, skinny ones. I wanted to use these ones as glasses after I'm done using them as jars. So that's a comparison. That's a pint. 
And these are like tall skinny ones. And then Aaron is working on the last ones over there. And we have this bucket of apricots left. My sister is going to take those and dehydrate them. And then we have bags of them. I've got one of my friends is going to get that. Two of my friends are going to get these ones. And then I think a neighbor is taking one. <laughs> I really hope we got that on camera. Aaron just totally burped. We're starving. I'm going to run and get Wendy's for everyone. My sister-in-law took Chelsea and Ashley with them to her house. She's feeding them dinner. Saving Grace today. It is, can you guess what time it is? Oh, now you can see the sweat. That is pure natural sweat. It is 5.30. I got home from Walmart at 11.30. They started the prep with the jars and the, and the apricots at 11. So we've been doing this for six plus hours. So we're exhausted and we enlisted the help of my dad to sweep him off the floors because they're disgusting. So I'm gonna go to Wendy's, get everyone dinner, and then I wanna call it a night. But I probably won't be able to because I have kids, because that's life. Oh goodness sakes, you guys, I'm so tired. Um, just got the girls. Say hi. Hi. You're playing at Cousins for a couple hours, huh? Yeah. They did so good playing with their cousin at our house. And then, like I said, my sister-in-law picked them up and they just, you played and had dinner. Uh -huh. And they're a little bit hungry still. So we're going to go get some yogurt and some watermelon. watermelon. Yes. And you want some nuggets too? I can yeah. make those up for you. And... Then we're gonna head home. Well, we're gonna head home and do that. And then we're gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. Sorry, I'm trying to drive. Can we watch a little bit of Death in Paradise? If you go straight to bed, then you have time for a little screen time. Is that a deal? Right. And I have exciting news. I just told them, I don't think they really understand. But when I'm I, I'm going to a concert tomorrow night. I texted my best friend here in town, we've known each other since middle school, and asked her if she wanted some of these extra apricots that my sister has. And she said she did, and then asked if I had any free time before I go home, and I just have felt so bad that the entire time I've been here, I haven't been free to go and hang out with her, and you know, anyway, and so I've kind of felt bad. And so we said, okay, tomorrow is my only day. Let's do lunch, let's do dinner, let's do something and hang out. And she said, okay, but I've got something better than lunch or dinner. And I was like, okay, what do you got? And she said that Colby Gallant is playing at Cherry Peak Resort up by where my brother lives, up where my nephew's wedding was at tomorrow night. And so we went ahead and booked tickets and we got the last one of the last 11 seats in general admission and so I just said you know what it'll be a fun concert to go to and hang out with her and just do something fun to kind of end our time here and these guys will be tired after a day of swimming I'm gonna take them and their cousins swimming yeah. for the afternoon uh, yeah whoever can come is gonna come and then they'll be tired and they'll be able to get into bed um, and kind of be quiet for grandma to babysit. And my sister will be at home as well because she's going to stay until the fireworks. I'll have to explain that on in tomorrow or the next day's video because we're waiting, we're staying here in town until the 24th of July, which is Pioneer Day for us in here in Utah. We celebrate the day the pioneers landed in the Utah Valley before it was actually the Utah Valley. So we celebrate that holiday with barbecue and fireworks similar to the 4th of July and I wanted to take these two at least to celebrate that with my family. So that's kind of what we're here waiting for the last few days. So anyway, I will end our video unless these two do anything cute or rambunctious at home. But remember, remember grandma is super tired, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be quiet when we go home yeah, <laughs> there's a little too much of a hesitation with that. All right, you guys. No, I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to head home and 
maybe we'll get a little sneak peek of going to bed and whatnot, but otherwise, if I don't see you again, good night.